In this video, we're going to learn how to create a dot plot. The first thing that we need to do before we start is to take our data and break it down to make it easier to create the dot plot. So I've got my data over here where I'm going to take these numbers and I'm going to put them into a frequency table over here. Now when I looked at these numbers, I saw that zero was the lowest number that I had and seven was the highest number. So that's why I went from zero to seven over here. And then all I'm going to do is to start to make some tallies for how many siblings everybody has. So I'm going to start with three and put a tally and then I'm going to do zero and put a tally do a one and make a tally and I'm just going to continue until I get through the rest of my data So I'm just going row by row and tallying how many numbers I have for each of these numbers of siblings. Okay, so now I've got my totals. So what I'm going to do is fill in the numbers over here to the side. So I had four with zero siblings. I had 12 with one. I had eight with two. I had three for three. For four, I had one. For five, I had zero. For six, I had one. And for seven, I had one. So I'm just going to show you that same information on another slide where it's a little bit cleaned up. So here's that same information just with the number of siblings filled in. It's just a little cleaner, a little easier to look at. So now I'm ready to make my dot plot. So what I do is I start by drawing a horizontal line that's going to be scaled. And we want to make sure that our scale is consistent. So on this one, we're just counting by ones and we're starting with the least and we're going to the greatest. And then we just make sure we include a title. In this case, our title is number of siblings. The second step is going to be to make a dot for each time the number shows up. So if I look at what I got for zero, I had four different people answer that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create four dots vertically stacked on top of each other above the zero. And then for the one, I'm going to do 12 dots, and I'm going to try to be careful to make my dots spaced the same amount apart as I did for the zeros so that I'm being consistent. So here's my first four dots. I'm just going to continue making dots until I have done the entire number line, and I'm going to show you what that looks like now. So if you look here, I've got four different dots listed for zero, so one, two, three, four. I've got 12 dots listed for one. For two, I've got eight dots. For three, I've got three dots. For four, I've got one dot. I didn't do any dots for five. I've got one dot for six, and then I've got one dot for seven. And if you look across, you can see that here are for zero dots, I had four different people that responded that way, and I tried to line that up straight across with anything else that had a four with it so that it's nice and consistent. It's really easy to see from my dot plot that one was the most common answer and zero was the least common answer. The last thing that I want to mention is that when you make your very first dot, you don't want to make it directly on the number line. You want to make it just slightly above the number line like I did right here. So this dot is just going to be slightly above the number line when you make your dot plot. That's it. That's all there is to it. Good luck.